The England cricket captain Nasser Hussain plays for which county side? Lancashire, Essex, Somerset, Middlesex. I believe that's Essex. You up on your cricket? I used to follow it, not so much now. Want to play? It's your call. I might as well go for it. Essex. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. You got sixty-four thousand pounds. <laughs> Serious money tonight. Another night we've given away over £300,000 and we haven't finished yet. Sean, at this moment, you've got that amount of money. Have a look. I think you'll find it very, very nice. OK, you've got £64,000. Have a look at question number 12. It's worth £125,000. Um, you've got no lifelines. Obviously, if you did give me a wrong answer at this point, you drop £32,000 back to thirty two. You don't have to play this, you can walk away with £64,000. Have a look at this, though. It's question number 12. It's worth £125,000. What is the title of the sequel to John Milton's poem, Paradise Lost? The title of the sequel to John Milton's poem, Paradise Lost. Paradise Returned. Paradise Reformed. Paradise Renewed. Paradise Regained. Before the answers come up, Chris, uh, Paradise Regained came into my head. That's the first thing that came into my head. I'm not usually wrong when I have those inklings. But it is a lot of money. You lose £32,000 if you're wrong. I'm going to go with D, Paragais Regained. Final answer. Final answer. I can tell you that Cloder thinks the answer is Paradise Reformed. What would Cloder say if you just lost £32,000? How would the chat go on the way home? She'd forgive me. <laughs> she went after you, you just won £125,000. <laughs> oh. I think Cloder's very happy to be wrong on this one. Sequel to Paradise Lost was Paradise Regained. You've got that check yeah. for one. Do you want to take it? Nope. Oh, you don't want to take them? Okay. £125,000. You have no lifelines, but you've had none since 32000 You're hanging in. You're three away from one million. Have a look at question number 13. It's the same point that uh, Pete got to earlier tonight. This is for £250,000. It's question number 13 of a possible 15. Who gave Camp David the official country retreat of the US president its name? Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson. I've heard this before, Chris. I know it was named after the son of one of the presidents. Take your time. It's worth a quarter of a million. I know John F. Kennedy didn't have a son, David. I don't think it was Eisenhower or Johnson. My feeling would be Harry S. Truman. Take your time. I say my feelings aren't usually wrong. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. You've got £125,000. You'd lose £93,000 if you were wrong. Yeah. As I say, I think Harry S. Truman, but I'm not sure enough to go for it. I think she probably might have forgiven £32,000, but I don't think she'd forgive £93,000. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. OK, give him a big hand. Sean McCarthy goes back to Northern Ireland. A lot better off than when he came in with this cheque. You can take it now for £125,000. It's your cheque, take it. I can tell you just before you go. How close were you to going for that? There was a moment there. And you before did say, I returned to my senses. And you did, yeah, but you did say to me, 
when I get these feelings, I'm really wrong. Mm. The right answer was Dwight D. Eisenhower. <laughs> Did you do the right thing? Oh! <laughs> Renamed it for his grandson, grandson, David. You did the right thing. You go away, £125,000. <laughs> 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 <laughs>